Hey guys, happy Friday. I gotta share this bad boy real fast. And I have something that keeps coming up. I've had a few people say it to me and I really just wanna share it with you guys um, to let you know how to do these things in your own life. Um, so for those of you who follow me on Snapchat, you kinda know a little bit better about this, but like I'm just like, crazy organized. Um, I tend to have, I tend to be very proactive and that's intentional though. That's the thing I really want to explain to people. Here, I'm getting this live. Hold on. Okay. Anyways, so I've had some people say to me, oh my gosh, like I think that it would be so so exhausting to be so organized like how does that not like drain you or how are you so on top of things um, you know I think oh it'd be great to be as organized and proactive um, as Jamie is but it'd be exhausting to get there um, so there's a couple things that come to mind so first of all I am crazy organized it is like a like a gene that I have I think that my brain operates the way that it is with like attention to detail and stuff and that's why I'm an that's why I'm a project manager that's why I'm a productivity expert like that's where that stuff comes into place but what I want to explain to you guys is me being really really organized and like things flowing really well for me like 90% of the time and not having a lot of like hiccups and shit like that are we connected all right? Okay. That's very intentional. Meaning, there's a lot of work that goes into it. So when someone says to me, oh my gosh, you make it look so easy, I'm almost offended because it's like, no dude, like it's not easy at all, actually. Um, it is now. I'll say that now it's, it's not as frustrating for me, uh, but I still veer off course sometimes with it and have to jump back on. But it's not easy. It's there's a lot of of time um, that has gone into creating the processes and stuff that I have now that are now easy for me and now don't meaning they come naturally to me. I don't spend a ton of time freaking out about being organized because it is now normal to me. It is a natural habit. It is a natural way for me at this point. So I really wanted to talk about this because this didn't happen by accident. Like I strategically planned for things to turn out the way that they've turned out. This is the same thing I do for every client that I have. You know, they bring me into their business and they have all of these pieces and, and none of it's organized. Well, what I am able to do is kind of see the big picture and see how I want it to be in the long run or how they want it to be in the long run. And then we put in a hell of a lot of effort and work and back work and tweaking and you know, whatever the case may be to get it to the point where it's flowing and it looks to be so easy and streamlined and uh, you know just flowing with ease. Well, it takes a lot to get you there. So I wanted to record this real quick because I know a lot of people think that, oh, there's no way I could ever be that organized or on top of things. Well, no, you can be. You just have to choose to be. So I am having a little bit of a connectivity issue, I think. Oh, we're just going to roll with it, so hopefully you can hear me. Hey, Larry. Yeah, being organized does make you super productive. Um, that's why I try to explain to people, um, really help them figure that out. And it's even just being organized with your thoughts and your time. Um, so I wrote down a couple of things to kind of go over with you guys on how I really, like, flipped this switch and made this happen to where like this stuff is now does flow with ease because I had very, very intentional action for a while to get it to that spot. Um, so one of the things that I do, so we all go through days and we have fires, like, you know, these, these fires light out of nowhere and things that take your attention um, or mistakes or messes that you have to go spend time cleaning up or um, wrenches thrown in your plans, things like that. Now, obviously some of those things are always going to be beyond your control, um, and then just how you handle it when it does happen is, is the key thing there, but 
the biggest thing is is when that happens, when you have a mess that you need to clean up, when you have a fire that you need to put out, you need to analyze it afterwards. When you're done handling it, you need to think about what caused that. Like, why did that happen? Um, why did this come up and I was unprepared for it? Or whatever may be. The next question you have to ask yourself is what could I do to prevent it? What could I have done to prevent it from happening in the first place? And what can I do to prevent it from happening again? So two really key things. And again, like I said, like this shit doesn't happen by accident, you guys. You have to put in a little work in order for you to get things to flow the way that they need to. So one of the things there is, or the first thing is, is you really need to pay attention. Pay attention to the fires and the mistakes and the messes and the things that come up. And then you need to analyze what you can do to prevent them. When you come up with ways that you can prevent them, those are the things that you put in as a habit um, to prepare and be proactive and make sure that you're handling what could possibly be a fire before it actually becomes a fire. Um, pretty much you're on top of your shit is what that is. And this comes down to, I mean, I can break this down across the board in so many different scenarios. Um, you know, even one being something as big as you know, a client getting pissed off because you didn't give them something by what they thought was the due date. Well, if you're proactive and you set over to them like a timeline or you send them a message and let them know that, um, excuse me, let me get this off my screen. Send them a message and let them know where you're at or um, give them a you know an update throughout, whatever the case may be, like that is, being proactive, that is avoiding or preventing the fire from happening. This can also be something as small as, like this morning I put on Snapchat that I opened my container where my coffee, I keep my coffee beans, and it was empty. I totally forgot that yesterday I had used the last thing of coffee because it was, I just didn't even think about it. And I looked in and I was like, holy shit. Like for a second I was like, oh my God, I'm out of coffee. Like that's not funny. And then I realized that I wasn't out of coffee. I have inventory of coffee beans in my cupboard. So I went to the cupboard and I'm like, don't worry, like I got this, I got coffee right here. And so, so it can be something as small or as big. So I know that I go through coffee really. So I buy it in bulk. Prevent the problem prevent the fire, prevent the wrench in the plans. Because if you need coffee like I do to function in the morning and you don't have any, that's going to make you either stop what you're doing and go to the store or stop what you're doing and go buy yourself a coffee from wherever you go. But that's something that you didn't plan to happen in your day. So it's going to throw off the rest of your schedule. Do you get what I'm saying here? How this can be something so big or something so small. That's why things flow well for me. People are like, oh, you're so lucky. No, no, it's not luck at all. It's training. Like I go to the lake and I plan my meals. I plan snacks. I plan what I need for the drive. I plan what I need for the boat. So, I mean, it's just, it doesn't take me any extra time. It doesn't. So anyway, the next thing that I want you to to really get prepared for things and be proactive is trial and error. Um, this doesn't happen overnight. You don't create a perfect plan overnight. That's just not what happens. It's very um, easy for people to get discouraged and wonder, okay, well, what the hell? You know, I tried this plan or I tried this schedule and it didn't work. And then they just give up. There's no such thing as a perfect schedule, especially not the first time around. Um, or a perfect plan. It takes trial and error. So you have to actually stick to the deal, do what you wrote down or do what you said you were going to do. And then if it doesn't work out right or doesn't work out the way you want it to, analyze it, flip some things around, tweak it if you need to, and move forward. But it's a trial and error based thing. That's what you have to understand. So always keep that in mind. Don't get discouraged. Keep at it. Because if you don't keep at it, it's never going to be perfected and it's never going to run smoothly. So big, big thing there. Um, so coming into this proactive stuff, the next thing I wanted to talk about, how do you be proactive? Like I say that a lot and people are like, I don't know how to be proactive. And I'm like, well, 
you need to be to pay attention. In order to be proactive, you need to pay attention. Um, meaning paying attention to what's happening, what's not happening, how you feel, how you want something to be versus how it actually is. That's what you need to pay attention to and you need to then be able to make decisions or create habits or create consistency around the things that need it. And that's where your pro proactive um, tasks and your proactive activities and your really intentional, intentional actions play a part. That's how you figure that out. That's how you create proactive things in your life. Um, I think I may actually do an entire broadcast about proactive behavior because it's, it's definitely one of those things that people like to hear, but they don't typically do much with it. Um, when it, it really is like the key to being organized, the key for a smooth running business or smooth running life, the key to less stress, the key to being productive, proactive planning is huge across the board. Um, again, things as big as your business and your money to as small as a grocery list or buying two of one thing if you know you go through it quickly, whatever the case may be. Um, so those are the really quick tips that I have for you guys. Um, and I want you to know that it doesn't happen overnight and being prepared and being really organized, it takes work. It takes mental... Um, presentness like you have to be present in what's going on around you in order to really be prepared and really be uh, paying attention and this goes across the board in every part of your life and you know your safety even for god's sakes like your car your safety if there's a bad situation with you you know wherever you are or with with your family or your eating or whatever the case may be so it goes across the board so I just wanted to jump on real quick because I had come up a couple of times with people saying, oh, you make it look so easy. You're so organized. It just works. And I'm like, yeah, but it's not easy. So um, hopefully this helps a couple people. If it does, uh, let me know. Comment below. I'd really love to hear what you have to say. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the message. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Enjoy your weekend, and I will talk to you all later.